This uh, short tutorial is about environment diagrams. My name is Jalal Maliki and I teach Scheme at Linköping University to engineers. We use these uh, graphical conventions to show what happens in uh, the process of evaluating Scheme expressions. It is important to notice that uh, these diagrams are quite static uh, and the sequence in which things are created is not shown, uh, which um, may make it uh, difficult to understand uh, if you are presented with a single diagram. Uh, and the reason that uh, I'm making this video is to show just the dynamic aspect of how things are created when. There are certain concepts that uh, we should be familiar with. Um, for example, what a binding is, a frame, uh, shadowing, environment, and procedure objects. And the whole thing is the basis for environment-based evaluation, which we will discuss in the examples that will be taken up. A binding simply is, a, is an association of a name with a value. For example, here we see x. The value x is bound to 85. Sorry, the name. A binding simply shows what a name is bound to, what value a name is associated with. In here, we see an example where x is the value x is bound to eighty-five. The binding is simply an association of a name to a value. Here you see x bound to the value 85. A frame is a set of bindings. Uh, that is to say, it's a number of bindings in, with no particular order. Uh, Here we have two. An environment is a sequence of frames, that is an ordered set of frames connected to each other. Uh, so one of them will be first, and one of them will be last, and there will be frames in between them in a particular order. For example, the environment E in this figure has three frames. In the first frame, x is bound to 85. In the final frame, x is bound to 19. Uh, if we choose to, we could uh, even give names to these other environments which uh, potentially uh, exist in this figure. For example, E2 consisting of the middle and the top frame. And then E3 consisting of the sequence which starts and ends with the top uh, frame in the figure. There is a special environment uh, while we speak called global environment and that environment uh, is uh, the environment that we get when we start our scheme system. Initially everything uh, available in the system, the built-in procedures, they are all in this environment and accessible to us. So uh, if we use the name plus, for example, then uh, and, and then we evaluate it, we'll get the procedure plus, which is built-in. So remember, global environment is important. Another important thing is the current environment, here shown as CE. The current environment shows the current frame 
uh, in which we do our evaluation. And it's defined dynamically as we evaluate our um, programs. It changes. Um, we mentioned shadowing. I just want to say what it is. Shadowing is when one binding uh, makes sure that another binding is not seen. So if you look at the environment E, we see that X, X has binding 85. So X uh, is not 19, it's 85. In E2 it is 19, in E3 it is 19. But in E, mm, this shadowing phenomena happens and the X85 um, takes priority and in that way we don't see X bound to 19. In order to <coughs> be able to talk about evaluation model based on these diagrams, we need to know what happens in a number of different cases. In particular, we need to know what happens if we uh, evaluate the statement that starts with define. We also need to know how we evaluate names. Given a name, how do I know what it's bound to? And then uh, statements starting with set and then expressions starting with lambda and then some particular uh, uh, special statements uh, that uh, or syntax that start with if or cond or let these uh, do not uh, on their own create any particular uh, diagrams but they are the particular way of executing them is interesting. Uh, we will not go through them because the the evaluation of these uh, um, syntactical structures is just like uh, before we have mentioned in the course. For example, after if we have three statements, the first one is a condition which is evaluated, the next uh, is uh, the then part, which is um, evaluated in case the condition is true, and the third argument, the third part after if, is um, um, the else part, which is only evaluated if the condition is false. So this particular sequence of uh, convention of evaluation applies even now. So evaluation of the condition or the then part or the else part may themselves uh, lead to some changes in the environment diagram, but we don't need to handle if in particular here. Finally, the uh, compound expressions. Compound expressions also cover the built-in, the final point here, uh, procedures. So what we have there is that we have an operation and some arguments and they all have to be evaluated and then the operation for uh, operation is applied to the arguments. We'll come to some detail level into that in the example. So let's start look at these. Initially we have a global environment which points to a frame which doesn't contain anything we have defined. There are things which are built in but nothing that the user or the programmer has defined. And as you see, the current environment points to the same place. If we evaluate a define uh, statement, then we get a new binding. That's what define does. It adds a new binding to the uh, current frame. And, uh, another define uh, expression gives another binding in the current frame nowhere else. Uh, assume now we have this uh, particular environment structure uh, and we like to evaluate some particular name, for example the name X. Evaluation of X depends on which environment we have. For example, if we evaluate X in the environment E, then we get the value 85. In the other two, we get the value 19. So that's the process of evaluating names. Look them up in the current environment. And if the current environment is different, then we may get different bindings for that name. 
now to set or the set bang uh, assume again we have this uh, setup on the right um, global environment pointing to the first frame current environment pointing to the bottom frame on the page and then we like to evaluate two particular um, uh, lisp uh, or scheme uh, statements first one is set z to 44 and the second one sets um, or defines z as 36 we um, evaluate them in that order so the current we, uh, the current environment is down there and what we want to do is to change the value of z to 44 we start from the current environment or the current frame that the current environment is pointing at and we look for z finally we find it in the third frame up there and uh, consequently we change that value to 44 now we um, define z as 36 what happens now well the current environment is pointing to the bottom frame so define creates new bindings in the uh, frame which is current and there you go we get a binding a new binding for z z36 in that frame just to show the difference between these two we go back to the original diagram the environment uh, and then execute the set and the define in the reverse order we first define z as 36 and then uh, evaluate set let's see what happens we know that define adds a binding to the current frame so that's easy now we have defined z as 36 and the next thing we do is to change z to 44 this time um, set uh, the way set is evaluated we look for the first z we, we find in in the current environment and that is the z we have in the first frame that's fine we change that to 44 and thereby you see the difference between executing these two in different orders so they have different uh, results.